Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, last episode, we finished Edelgard's route, Crimson Flower. And with that, we will have to move on to Golden Deer. It's the only other route that I have not done, aside from the split thing that uh, Edelgard gets. Now, I've been pretty busy uh, in between in between episodes uh we are uh this is much more current in fact this may be coming up the same day i record it uh just because i've been busy with other stuff got a new pc set up and everything hopefully the video ends up turning out okay uh this is the first thing i'm filming with this new setup and uh due to that we are on the most current version of fire emblem three houses they they've been updating the game uh, both with its DLC you get in the season pass. I did not buy any of it. Uh, I probably will when they put out something that seems actually worth it. Because so far it seems like made outfits, and I can't say I care too much about that. Uh, but hey, uh, I'm sure once they put out the, the story stuff that people want, uh, then I'll be jumping into that and recording that. But they put out a free update as well. And I... When I saw it, my eyes almost popped out because it said that Crimson Flower has now gotten a brand new unit in the form of uh, Jiritsa, who is the Death Knight, is the masked dude who I believe is the brother of Mercedes. And they've just added him to the route I just finished. I want to get this on film, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get on film the feeling of what the fuck is wrong with these people <laughs> that I'm feeling right now? Now, normally when it comes to like games and stuff and like them adding stuff to a game afterward, I'm pretty chill with it because I feel like there should be like a level of understanding. This is p past my personal line of comfort in that way where I'm like, Jaritza is a character that is basically introduced and it's like, oh, he's he's the Death Knight because he disappears at that point in the game, right? Cool. That's that's you know, that's cool. Uh, in in Blue Lions, he's a boss. In Black Eagles, he shows up when you uh, oh, when you you have the battle at Garrick Mach, I believe. And it's like, don't worry, he's with us, and and, and and you you know he assists, and then he got owned in my playthrough. Uh, in a fight, but it was casual, so whatever. He does not show up again. He's not mentioned again. He's gone. That's it. And that's a problem. Just there, There's a lot of aspects with Crimson Flower that I have some issues with. Um, because it just... It, it's a much shorter route compared to the Blue Lions. And people, are, people have told me the Golden Deer is about the same length as Blue Lions. So it's like uh, Black Eagles ends up feeling shorter. But the fact that a character that seems completely connected and would be on your side is not mentioned in the in in the time skip and then they add him later, that doesn't sit well with me. That's something that should have been there from the start. And just everything about Edelgard's routes to me sounds incredibly disappointing and incredibly lazy in the fact that one, they're, they've made two routes, but one of them is much shorter than the others uh, and the other one is the exact same maps and battles, except for the final one is what I've been told as Golden Deer. And now I am faced with the fact that I spent 45 hours? 45, 50 hours playing a route? And then they said, okay, well, he, here's something that would have enriched it a lot better. With a, uh, with a character that you were very interested in that would have probably added a, a decent bit of texture to the whole thing. Something that definitely should have been in there. And had plenty of supports and stuff. I really would have wanted to do that. And I'm put into a situation of like, yo, you want to load? No, nah, the only save I have is right before the post... Uh, right before the time skip happens, like before you uh, uh, do the split and decide I'm going to side with Edelgard. And I, I don't want to go through all that again just to 
pick up the supports for one character. So it puts me in the situation of like, well, I guess I should have picked Golden Deer then. And then that's not a good feeling. Not a good feeling that it's like, ah, get fucked, you played this too fast. When I played it months after it came out. It's like, I'm sorry that we're, we're meandering on this for a few minutes, but it's just such a bummer, man. And it's only for her route. It's only for one of her routes. It's like I can't get it from any of the other ones. Which makes it extra, like, ugh. Uh, having cooled on my thoughts on the Edelgard route, I, I kind of am a bit more down on it in, in general. That being said, I still, I still think it's good. I just think compared to Blue Lions, it's a lot weaker because it just... I feel like it doesn't do a very good job of explaining, uh, or at least making a good case for what Edelgard's doing and why she needs to take down the church. Like, I understand why, but I feel like it's that, and the antagonistic force really doesn't give a shit about her, it just cares about you, because uh, Rhea wants, you know, wants you to give back what you've essentially took from her uh, inadvertently. But... This just kind of added an extra layer of a bad taste in my mouth for that. But I wanted to talk about that, and I'm sure some people were going to wonder what, what we were going to do about it. Uh, I have no plans on replaying something that I already soaked 50 hours into just to get him. Uh, but I'm incredibly disappointed because I'm... I really want to interact with that character from the very beginning. When I first met that dude, like, in episode, like, three or four, I was like, oh, that's a cool mask, dude. I was always waiting for when they're gonna, like, really dig deep into him, and I just never get it. <laughs> because also, apparently, you know, it's like, oh, uh, if you had Caspar and Mercedes together and did a paralogue, then when you kill him in Blue Lions, you get a fucking extra cutscene. I get fucked with this character everywhere. <laughs> Such a fucking nightmare. But enough about that. Uh, did I make note that I'm the male main character now? I don't think I did. Uh, I'm the male protag this time. Uh, mainly because I thought it would be a good idea to switch things up as we do our last route here. Um, Yeah, let's, let's, let's get going. I, I apologize for exhausting eight minutes of this video talking about it, but I... Like, come on, man. I, I'm very lax when it comes to adding things post-release for games uh, that flesh things out. I'm, I'm a little bit understanding, but I think something like this is just a step too far for me personally. Uh, but for people who, who did not do Crimson Flower before then, fucking you win, I guess. And to make it worse, I would have had saves for it because I saved in a bunch of different slots, but there's a limit on the save slots, and this free update added more! <laughs> so I'm like, damn you, you motherfucker. Like, if I was halfway through, like, the post, if I had a save that was, like, halfway through that time skip, I would I would have loaded that and then maybe tried to find a way to show up as course, but it's, it's dead. It's dead. We're, we're on nine minutes to be bitching about this. You know what? For good reason. Do we want to make the whole video about this? Uh, please, allow me to allow me to fill time for 20 minutes. We're doing so you it. Have yes, yes, let's go. I'm sorry. Your heart has made its choice then. <sighs> My heart has made the choice of go. Fuck off. Oh. Leave me alone. No. Leave this me alone, you fucking Let people. Me. I don't give a shit. Give me my new give me my new kids. I've earned them. Wait. What? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class mm -hmm. just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. I mean, hey, uh, learning about him through this is probably the only way you can, because I know fucking nothing about Claude except that he's he's good at scheming, and then he leaves the story after one fight. I don't mind. Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that What's necessary. What's my age? 
I don't even know. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment. Becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. You're exaggerating a bit. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. My dad ain't Just that cool. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high-quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. If there's no meat involved, it's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. All right, so now we are into the game. The route has begun. We are now with our golden deer. Oh, hey I thought I'd let people know what I've uh, what I have set up for New Game Plus. Uh, first up, in terms of supports, the only one we could really raise automatically in the group right now is Leone. Though we did do a couple of the did a couple of the uh, teachers. Now, the main thing that I messed with is the stats of these two. Because we had Leone all the way. Her name's Leone Pinelli. It was like, Jesus Christ. This bitch is eating the big old spaghettis and fucking. She's, her spear's a fucking breadstick. This Italiano bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a moment. <laughs> I raised her I raised her stats um her skills uh Lance A riding B this will make it so uh she will uh very easily be able to get into the groove of her uh later later classes uh, I may have her be a flying unit eventually we'll have to see uh what I end up choosing uh moving it over to myself male Byleth uh, we have maxed out sword, uh, A rank reason, B plus faith, and authority, and that should be good enough. Uh, for a long time, because now we have stuff like, uh, Baloney, we got Bolo we got Bologna, we got Ragnarok, we got plenty of healing. That's real good. Uh, also, this makes it so that we have, uh, some pretty decent skills at the start as well. Uh, carrying over a bunch of stuff from the previous run, like Sword Prowess Level 5, Sword Fair, Sacred Power, Axe Breaker, and Sword Crit. When we hit things, they're going to go down on the first turn. Professor. Like, there's gotta be some bullshit that things survive. Okay. We are, we are in a wonderful spot. Uh, I'm really excited to jump into this. Uh, this game really does have some staying power with me, which I think is great, because... Uh, the first half of every single route is basically the same, except uh, Blue Lions actually has more depth because uh, there are characters that are connected to the situations most of the time, and that's just not there in the other ones, apparently. 
But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. So, every game has holes. Just that some of the ones in this, narratively, are gaping and large. Now, <laughs> now that we've got the whole life set up, I will see you when we uh, reach the actual first month mission. Uh, I'm rushing this a little bit because uh, I spent 10 minutes of this video bitching about uh, Nintendo being incompetent and shipping a route unfinished. <laughs> it's true. Uh, yes, well, time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? Eh, uh, leave it to me. Right. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... Please don't poison yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, wink, wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna face fuck you with my sword, and that is his grand plan, is that he it's throws me anyhow. at you. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Ah, uh, if they insist. Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude? I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. You know, he can also hop. In case you were wondering whether or not uh, hopping was the female-only option, we have it. It's right here. You remember how... You remember how, like, loading screens used to... Like, Namco games used to be the only ones that were allowed to have something interactable on the loading screen to get people to waste time. Remember that? Because... Bandai Namco, whoever at the time was like, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking, <laughs> we're gonna patent that and copyright that. You can't, you can't fucking do that. You're like, you're like, you're not allowed to have a loading game. And they were the only company that could do it. I assume that's up because I'm pretty sure stuff like that just now uh, would have gotten you sued. I think that's, a, I think that's hilarious uh, how they just abuse shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah, we're only allowed to have five here. Uh, whatever, Leone, you're broken, so it doesn't matter if you are if you miss a fight. Let's get going. Begin. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. I'm sure you already understand. Yeah, 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 I got it. Stay focused. Don't worry. Let's see, now that we have a, a zoomed out map and the whole thing, let's uh, figure out what we're doing here. Go ahead, let's Ready go ahead and move everyone in and Who, me? and start getting people to face fuck me until and then they realize I should not have attacked you. This is horrible. I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes? 
Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Eh, that worked. I was hoping I could get the kill, but you know. You gotta really put your back into it. Alright, I'm sorry, rat, but you're you we're putting you down. The new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. That is that. I'm gonna miss female Byleth. This is much much better. I like your big dumb eyes. Alright, let's uh maybe deal with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could we can move into this position and then hit you. I was like, would I rather have him attack uh Ferdinand, but no. No, that's fine. You can Nosferatu him. No, that won't that won't do that won't kill. Oh fucking great. You're you're gonna be tons of fun to deal with. We're gonna do some extra work to get her to get a confirmed kill here in Vietnam. I'm the son of All right. Then there was just uh, there was just Ash. So sorry, did I hurt you? All right, that's three units all done. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. You didn't move. <laughs> it's like we're gonna have to really do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get up though. Like, <laughs> like, what are you fucking crazy? I'm gonna set this thing on fire. Because I know it gives me experience. Boom! All according to plan. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna split the party if only to get this thing to go a little bit faster. Are you planning on fighting two houses at once? I will admit that is favorable for us. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. They are very excited. <laughs> Up to face with my full might runs away. God suck. All right. Move toward the center. All right, it's time to face off against Dadu. Dadu is a tank, though. Gonna take a little bit of X. A little bit of extra work to put him down. Wow. We really can't take him out over the course of three different attacks. Now that's the do for you. I mean, went straight forth. Thank God Nosferatu heals. Otherwise, she would have just immediately went down. Alright, the dude blew a turn on uh, healing, and Marianne's fucking dead, and... Uh, I'm just eating. Nom, nom, nom. Great. <sighs> I could use a break. Does an axe do better against it? No... Yeah, yeah, just take him out. Crit no time. Uh, apologies, your highness. You lost to me. <laughs> She's like, I, I, I ain't even shit. Have you seen me? Nicely done. Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. 
Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Eh, it was worth a try. What I imagine will ruffle him up is uh, taking a spear to the ass, which is coming uh, right about now. Yep, here we go. Bah! I thought I get. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. <laughs> Mercedes is like, I'm in danger. <laughs> Come on, Edelgard. Come for me. There can be no victory unless I defeat you. So be it. Yeah. So. Did you underestimate? Me? Oh no! Oh no! Dorothea, you fucking bitch. Yes. Fucking. Bitch, you goddamn you bitch, you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess this is my fault, but I will take no blame. Get out of here. Alright, down to three. We have four to take out as well. That'll take some doing. Man, you really are a bunch of pests, aren't you? Hey, look at that. Getting getting some getting some perks off. Take you out. You're probably the most dangerous person here. I wanna go home. <laughs> She's like, I've worked so hard, and by that I mean I haven't, but you know, we'll pretend. <sighs> This is a very good fight. I'm just going to stay up here. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, Ottoman? Come on, dude. All right, I think you have to put her down. I mean, can you? Ah, yeah, if you get over here. Look at that, a real life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Very good job. Thanks. Claude seems like the kind of guy to just draw cool S's on I'll people's notebooks. Forced to retreat. I'm just saying. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Let us be cautious. All right, let's start burning through health. Perfect. All right, all that's left are teachers. It's your call. And for the finish. That's one class done. Well done. I guess I this ensures that I didn't get Byleth too broken. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard. All she does in the story is get owned and is loved by no one. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little mean. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I didn't make a convincing attempt to say it, say it either. Uh, let's see. That's fine. That was all according to plan, because this bitch is going to smash your skull open. My goodness. Sorry, did I hurt you? I played that not strategically at all. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... 
The Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Nice job. Who is our MVP? That's nah, not too surprising. Great work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. Everyone did well. Uh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well ah. met, Professor. <laughs> The breadth of your skill was on full display today. Why they gotta choreograph that shit? Shut the fuck up, Lawrence. I'm talking. The fucking, fucking one, two, three, four, fucking. It's like seven people just like, we must all choreograph walking in. We must do it at the same speed. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a lot. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too. We just did what you told us, and we won. I love it. Y you Perhaps weren't there. From a child of the former captain of the knights. Thank you for today, professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Ah, uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. ruh -roh. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. This man steals cheese? <laughs> As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. Uh, not interested? Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Uh, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'll give you flowers. You're the best girl in the game. Uh... <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm such a piece of shit. It's the best. Okay. Well, we're now in the month of May. We have some quests to go handle, and then we have to prep for the next uh, next segment. Uh, I'm sure if I'm going to show me, like, teaching or anything in this run. I don't know if I'll be doing much of that. Man, we already, we already have supports, like... Appearing for people, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're, we're generally gonna be doing the same format that we were doing, uh, toward, uh, the back half of Edelgard's route, which is, uh, not showing much of the teaching stuff, because I'm talking, I'll generally talk about what I've been going for. And, uh, not showing anything here, uh, aside from, you know, if I have no. something to talk about story-wise and stuff. Uh, a lot of trimming hey. of the fat, uh, which means it's so. mostly battles and supports and stuff, as we played the game twice already. Uh, but I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what that story is.
Anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, tolerating the first part in which I, uh, just said some things, and I don't regret that he's right there. Fuck you. What? Fuck you. I'm sorry. Nintendo felt the need to lock you away for several months. He's like, I, I wanted us to be friends, but uh, they, 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 they didn't finish her route. <laughs> it's like, I know, man. He's like, did you hear that they just copy pasted stuff for, for her church route from, from this route? And I'm like, I know it's crazy, Honestly, man. Professor. Maybe they just shouldn't have made three routes if they couldn't finish one of them. But yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Next time, we will continue doing Golden Deer and having a good time and uh, just really dig into it. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.